Lawyers advise and represent individuals, businesses, and government agencies on legal issues and disputes. In this video, we're going to help you answer the question, should you become a lawyer in 2020? We're going to go over the latest salaries, job market statistics, and the latest trends. Coming up. Hey everyone, Stephen Hack here with Career Watch, where we help you with your career search. If you end up enjoying the video, hit that thumbs up to support the channel. All the charts and graphs used in this video are available at my blog at www.careerwatch.co slash blog. Lawyers are also known as attorneys, and they have a number of roles and responsibilities. They advise and represent clients in court. There's a lot of communication that goes on with clients, colleagues, and judges. Lawyers conduct research and analysis of legal problems. They interpret laws, rulings, and regulations. Lawyers also prepare and file legal documents such as lawsuits, appeals, wills, contracts, and deeds. Next, let's get into the compensation of lawyers. So what is the average salary of a lawyer in 2020? Well, this could be looked at in a number of different ways. Later on in this video, you're going to discover that many different lawyers make very different kinds of money. The first thing we'll look at is average base salaries over time. The Bureau of Labor Statistics actually gives us over two decades worth of historical data on the compensation or the base salaries of lawyers. In 1999, the average base salary for a lawyer was recorded at $90,360. This rose to $145,300 in 2019. So from 1999 to 2019, there was a growth of around $55,000 in the base salaries of lawyers. This comes out to a yearly wage growth of about $2,800 per year, and the estimated 2020 salary would be $148,047. If we took that average base salary and we used it over the next 10 years, this is what it would look like. By 2029, the average base salary of a lawyer would be $172,770. Another thing to consider with this occupation is that it is very regional. In 2019, the wages of lawyers were vastly different depending on the state. The lowest paying state was the state of Montana, where the average lawyer makes $83,000 as a base salary. Meanwhile, the highest paying state actually isn't a state. It is Washington, D.C., where the average lawyer makes $192,180. So there is a massive difference in the compensation of lawyers in different states. In fact, there is a $110,000 difference between the highest paying state for lawyers and the lowest paying state. Other high paying states for lawyers include California, New York, Massachusetts, Illinois, Connecticut, and Colorado. So unlike with other occupations, the pay for lawyers is unequal. At the 10th percentile, the base salary is around $60,000, whereas at the 75th percentile, the base salary is at about 186,000. So there is almost a $130,000 difference in the base salary at the 10th and the 75th percentile. One of the reasons for this unequal distribution is the fact that law firms and the federal government tend to pay much higher base salaries than local government and state government. In fact, the federal government pays almost $60,000 more on average, more than the state government. Another great data point is comparing the starting salaries of different kinds of lawyers and the National Association of Law Placement compares the median starting salary of the average lawyer with the law firm median starting salary. And as you can see, there is quite a difference. The other cool thing about this chart is it goes all the way back to 2008. It compares the starting salaries in 2008 to the starting salaries in 2019. Interestingly, the starting salaries were actually higher in 2009 than they are in 2019. This is most likely due to the Great Recession. The Great Recession had a huge impact on the compensation of lawyers for a little while. Looking at this chart, you notice that the median starting salary and the law firm median starting salary was actually getting a lot closer in 2011. But since then, the gap between them has been growing and growing. In 2019, the median starting salary across the board was 72,500, whereas the law firm median starting salary was about 125,000. So that covers the compensation of lawyers across the country. Next, we're going to take a look at the job market. Is this a growing field or is this a shrinking field? Again, we're going to turn to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. They give us over two decades worth of jobs data. The job market for lawyers has grown over the past 20 years. In 1909, there were 464,000 employed lawyers. 
by 2019, there were 657,000 employed lawyers. So from 1999 to 2019, there was a growth of 192,000 employed lawyers, or about 10,000 per year. The total number of employed lawyers has grown by almost 50% over the past two decades. The government is actually expecting less growth over the next 10 years. They are expecting a 4% growth in the number of jobs from 2019 to 2029. This would mean that by 2029, there would be around 690,000 employed lawyers. So now that we know the number of employed lawyers across the country, we can actually compare it with the number of job openings to determine how competitive this um, occupation really is. To do this, I really like using Indeed.com. Indeed has been rated one of the more popular search engines by job seekers by several different sites and sources. So I searched for lawyer in the United States and it gave us 20,716 job openings across the United States. This means that there is one job opening on Indeed.com for every 32 employed lawyers. Given the fact that law schools regularly churn out over 30,000 newly minted lawyers every single year, this is a very competitive occupation. The most extreme ratio I have seen is the ratio for oral surgeons. There is one job opening on Indeed.com for every five oral surgeons. So getting into this occupation and working in this occupation continues to be pretty challenging. Another thing to consider regarding the job market is where all the jobs are. There are employed lawyers in every single state, but certain states have most of the job opportunities. Just like with most occupations, the states with the greatest number of people have the greatest number of lawyers. The states with the most include California, Florida, New York, Texas, Illinois, and Washington, DC. The states with the lowest number of lawyers include Wyoming, South Dakota, North Dakota, Alaska, Vermont, Rhode Island, and Maine. Lawyers also work in a couple different work environments. 50% work in legal services, 17% are self-employed, 7% work in local government, 6% work in state government, and 5% work in federal government. So that covers the job market for lawyers. So what kind of people actually become lawyers? Well, if you haven't taken a RIASEC assessment yet, definitely do. This is a great assessment to determine what your interests are and compare your interests to people in different occupations. When you look at the Holland Codes of people that work as attorneys, uh, they score really high in the enterprising and investigative themes. People that score high in the enterprising theme describe themselves as ambitious, competitive, persuasive, assertive, and energetic. Often they are motivated by persuading, selling, and leading. People that score high in the investigative theme tend to describe themselves as thoughtful, analytical, intellectual, complex, independent, and curious. They are often motivated by analyzing, inquiring, and researching. So as you can see, in 2020, there are pros and cons to becoming a lawyer. This is a growing field, but there definitely isn't a shortage of lawyers. We found that for every one job opening on Indeed.com, there's about 32 employed lawyers. There are other occupations that are far less competitive. Also, the compensation of lawyers is definitely very uneven. The federal government and law firms tend to pay much more than state governments and local governments. Also, almost 20% of lawyers are self-employed. So this could be a great occupation for someone that really wants to own their own practice. So there's definitely a lot to consider before jumping into this occupation. Are you a lawyer? What do you enjoy about this occupation and what do you dislike about this occupation? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching the video and I will see you in the next one.